Ewe, yes, all about love. Much love to Instagram and all social media. Now, go there, because Razen617 is my Ewe, of course, channel, in which I'm showing you my name, Russell, appeared on a campus in Iowa, and a person with J and H in their name interviewed me with J and H, and my name appeared, J-H-E, Ewe, with numbers, and 666 appeared the same day, and triple sevens, um, all on the same day? Coincidence? No, it is not. Now, you have VVS1, like your license plate, a diamond. And it's a star of, of course, Venus or the Sun review. You have a CVV code on the back of your visa card. Why is it that um, letter? Is it Cancer and Venus? You have a CV, a curriculum vitae for your resume. Why is it C and a V? Is it Cancer and Venus? Did they come before the human body? Yes, they did. You have a DVD and a VCR for your Philips uh, video machine, hmm, astrology. You have a VHS review, uh, Junior Varsity, JVC, Jupiter, Venus, USA, Ursa, Major is an anagram for that. I do my homework. Now back to your VVS1 diamond. Ewit! It's a star of the sun. It's the Union Jack symbol. It's the Eye of Horus. In Freemasonry, 33, diamond equals 33 to your Freemasons. All your presidents were Freemasons. Three and three is six. You have a plumb line with the letter C in your spine, man. So what's going on? Seven is the number of Shiva, the seventh chakra for Saturn or Satan. Jesus dies at 33. Now, get into this. Y'all got to get into your patterns. 33rd parallel north, yes, geographically makes a pyramid, okay? So your Illuminati is not just about one thing. They know their stuff. That's why you have a symbol here of a pyramid. You have medulla pyramids in your brain. Ibit. Your Illuminati likes these symbols and they're Freemasons. They're asking a question. Are they Freemasons? I have proof that they are. Your Freemasonry was infiltrated by who? Adam Weishap or George Washington Whig or Mozart. Adam is Hebrew for red man. Your Masonic dictionary is Duramata letters for your mother brain etymology. He was a Freemason who started the Illuminati about pedophilia and eating uh, humans and sacrifice. Yes, it is. Now, Adam Weishap Review got started in the university and by the Catholic Church. And he was also a Jesuit. Get into that. He was trained as a Jesuit. Where is that? Very important. There he goes. Jesuit. Okay, so remember that. It's very important. You have Jesuit schools all over the world. Pope Francis, even of Catholic Church, is a Jesuit. So what does that mean now? Now, very important. Go to etymology. Jesuit review means to be what? Deceitful and Jesus. It's a negative thing. So does that mean something about your religions? Yes, it does. Your Pope Francis, even pardoned pedophile priests who hurt children. So what's going on with this deceit? Why is he one thing but something else? Now you have, of course, your Virgin Mary got married at 12 years old. Pedophilia, underage Christians, ding, ding, ding. You have 12 body functions, y'all. Two and one is three. You have John Carpenter now. J and C is Jim Carrey and Jesus Christ, Julius Caesar and Jim Crow. Because it was Joseph, even the carpenter, who married an underage girl. So is this actor or director of horror movies holding an axe? Is he hurting children to be famous? You better wake up real quick. Those letters are Jupiter and Cancer. Babylonian Talmud in the Nida, yeah, they gave birth to your Torah and Talmud in your Bible. Um, in Nida 45, which is your nine for your Yassad, your sexual organ, your penis, review your Talmud, right, has the Mishnah and is a Jewish faith, Hebrew. I'm just showing you the Nida is in your Talmud. The Nida 45 says that, you know, girls can marry rabbis or men at 12 years of age. Where is that? There it is up there. Pardon me. Yeah, when can you marry, it says in the Talmud, ancient text. Pardon me, a bit blurry. Hold on. Yeah, 12 years old. Look, you see that? It says 12. So how are we divided here today? I don't understand this. It doesn't make any sense to me that we don't see that there's the number 12 in your Talmud, just like in your Bible. Now, uh, Muhammad in Islam, he marries Aisha, what, at 6? Yes, and then he consummates it, meaning has... Sex at nine, it is a metaphor. That's an esoteric number, that is the logo for cancer, the crab. Don't you get crabs, STD? It's a six and a nine. Ask yourself what's going on, it's your body. You have 12 body functions, like in your Talmud, and the age to get married in Christianity. VVS1, diamonds are forever, right? Is a diamond with numbers, it's the symbol of what? The Union Jack, there you go. It's the Union Jack of even England, and the four fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. The four seasons, the four keys of the earth. Review, VVS1, 
Two V's is eight, emerald green for Venus, Ebit, and one is Mars for the blood-like planet red. So that's eight and one is nine. Ding, ding, ding. So your diamond equals nine. And emerald, which is, um, of course, uh, related to that number, is Venus. You understand me? Your V is green. So you better wake up because emerald green. You have phosphorus in your DNA, which is Venus, morning star, and it is in your urine. So this is all about you. Why I can manipulate the ether and get my name to appear on license plates. Lucifer is Satan, Saturn, morning star, and Venus. Wow. As Christ calls himself in the Bible, your sun moves in degrees. Six and three is nine. One degree per day, hence your Freemasons and your schools having degrees. The Yasad in the Kabbalah of Judaism is the ninth sphere. Okay, you had that in your body. Now, very simple. That is the nine inch nails, Nin. So just be careful with your celebrities because that's uh, an important number. Your root chakra, your, your penis or your vagina, not gross, is the horns of the moon and is known as the Yasad, the ninth sphere. Okay, even in India, the horns of the moon. Now, the moon plants a psychophysical seed, but it's in your zodiac sign, follow it, and it gives birth to you, a uh, higher consciousness in your solar plexus, but y'all don't research. You also have a lunate bone, the moon in your hand, which means that you are aligned with this uh, moon, and there it is, of course. Hamate sounds Arabic. Lunate bone is the moon. That's the uh, Islamic flag, yes or no. VVS1 for your diamond, right? VVS1 Freemasons love their diamond is 33 in Freemasonry. 33 bones in your spine. Review. You have these chemtrails that make these diamond symbols encompassed in squares like your VVS1. Now you know it's not a game. Your Freemasons, right? Ebit, ebit, have the compass and square or the path of the, I don't know, chemtrails. So maybe your sky is the shape of a diamond because United Nations has the bars around it, the UN's logo, a flat earth symbol. Takes you to your Taurus fields, also move in lines, and maybe they're invisibly showing you a magical thing that you don't see outside. You better wake up, because you have toroidal fields, or Taurus, Toro. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shiva Boom Om, J-H-E. Please donate. I will decode your name like this. And if you don't do this work, my people, you are the problem, and not the Taurus field abusing Illuminati, light, solar plexus, moon. You are all of it. They are using it against you. Hallelujah. Love yourselves.